Guys, I'm really excited right now because I have a box in my hands. Actually, it's just a regular box. It's my old tripod box. Um, sorry to get your hopes up. So this whole time I thought Peak Design was working on another bag, probably a duffel or, or some sort of new creative way of carrying camera stuff, um, working on the travel line and, and I guess they really have. They've expanded the travel line going from the pouches to the packing cubes to the travel backpack to now the travel tripod. So because the Kickstarter has literally just launched. I want to be one of the first ones to tell you what you need to know about the travel tripod in a short few minutes-ish. So there is a lot to unpack here, so I'm going to try to keep this as minimal as possible as is Peak Design's motto. But I'll be the first to say that when I first got the press release early and I heard about the travel tripod, I thought to myself, that's weird. but. Wait, that's amazing because tripods that I've had in the past all have kind of sucked in one way or the other and true to what Peak Design is all about, it's taking things that exist or creating new things that will make the photographer's life that much more simpler, easier and really built for someone like me who travels a lot. I'm going to be breaking this video down into five sections. The first are the looks, second the specs. Third, the all important ball head. Fourth, how it deploys in the field. And finally, tidbits and features that you might not have caught in the Kickstarter. So I know you have questions about how much it is, when is it gonna drop? I'm gonna tell you at the very end, so make sure you watch the video from start to end. Shall we begin? I never thought I'd say this, but this tripod looks sexy. Now, Peak Design has spent four years designing it, engineering it, over-engineering it, as Peak Design is known to do, but they've literally got rid of all that dead space that you typically find in a tripod. Um, that's what's allowed it to be that compact. Um, I love how it looks. The ball head, which I'll get to in a bit, looks completely different than what you're used to. Um, the three legs, they're not tubular, uh, they're different. Um, the whole thing comes together to make it look like a giant tube, which works uh, to the size of basically a water bottle. And finally, I gotta say that the carbon fiber looks awesome. I always love carbon fiber. If you're a car guy, you know you want carbon fiber on your cars, you also want it on your tripod, mainly because of weight savings. I'll get to that in the specs. But one thing I, I will say about the photos uh, that I've seen the lifestyle photos, the uh, product photos, that the carbon fiber looks a little bit fake. It looks like somebody got some decals and put it on, but I'll see once I get the sample in my hands. All right, so now let's talk about the specs. This is probably the most important to me when it comes to tripod, and what I have in front of me here is a Hydro Flask water bottle tape measure in case and this old Ben Rowe travel tripod aluminum. It's pretty heavy. I wouldn't say it's really travel worthy anymore, but let's talk about the specs. I'm going to pull it up on the screen so you can see it in its entirety. Why don't we start off with the packed height? So this is what the tripod looks like when it's fully packed down and you're ready to put in your suitcase or your backpack. So the height of this thing is 38.7 centimeters or 15 and a quarter inches. Just for reference, this thing is 14.1 uh, inches high. So it comes out a little bit more. So it's a little bit longer. The other spec they have, and they're really emphasizing here is the diameter. Now that's not something that I've typically thought about in a tripod, but you think about it a little bit more and it does matter because you want to make sure your tripod easily goes into that water bottle pocket of uh, any backpack or bag that you have. So this uh, diameter of the tripod is 8.3 centimeters or 3.25 inches. Now for this guy, this is a Hydro Flask, the smallest ones, one of the smallest ones, it is only a little bit wider in terms of diameter. Um, so I know for sure that this tripod is gonna fit into the travel backpack or other ones really easily and really smoothly based on um, kind of the exterior contours of it. Uh, then we have the max height. Now this I feel like is neither here nor there. The specs are in the range of most tripods of this classification. 
So the max height with the center column all the way up is 148.6 centimeters or 58.5 inches. With the column down, it's 126.4 centimeters or 49.75 inches. Now, like I said, when I compare with my other travel tripods, it's in that range. I'm not getting any really additional height from it. So that's par for the course. Uh, then we have weight. Now weight really matters because traveling with a tripod really, really sucks. And you know, when you're on the road uh, and you're not sure whether you're gonna use it, weight really comes into play. Am I gonna carry this tripod all day in case I need it? If it's too heavy, forget it. So, uh, as you've seen from the Kickstarter, there are two types of the travel tripod. There's the aluminum version, and then there's also the carbon fiber version. The aluminum one's gonna be heavier. It's 1.56 kilograms or 3.44 pounds. Now, just to give you an idea, this Benro is 3.3 pounds, and I think it is way too heavy. So that, that gives you an idea, I really wouldn't get the aluminum one. Uh, then we have the carbon fiber. So the carbon fiber is 1.27 kilograms or 2.81 pounds. So this is a great deal lighter and I think even though those numbers don't really pop out at you, 2.81 versus 3.44 pounds is going to make a difference. Um, so the carbon fiber is definitely the one that I'm gonna be going after. Uh, this tripod is different from this one. This has four uh, sections to it. The Peak Design one has five sections. And finally, let's talk about the weight capacity. Now for me, this is not as big of a deal for me, but for those that shoot with heavy cameras, the full frame ones like the Canons and the Nikons, I used to have a Canon 5D Mark III. Uh, the capacity for this one is 9.1 kilograms or 20 pounds. Uh, now, even for me that shoots micro four thirds now, I think that matters in that you wanna make sure that the tripod is sturdy and that you know if a big gust of wind comes along, it's gonna be able to stand its ground and not get swept away. Now let's talk about ball heads. Now this is probably the part that has the most innovation I'd say, or the second most innovation of the travel tripod. Um, what I have here is basically a standard ball head and then this is the capture plate that's used for the capture. So if you look at the photos of the ball head, you'll notice that it is really just one big giant ball and it allows for full articulation at all angles all around. Um, which is very different from a lot of the standard ball heads, which allow for a lot of freedom of movement, which is what ball heads are known for. But if you wanna go vertical, you can only do it in one direction. Like you can't do that anywhere else. It has to be this way. Um, they've solved that problem. Um, you can more or less do it at any angle, really quickly, really easily. Uh, they've also gotten rid of all the excessive number of knobs. So instead of two knobs, as you see here, um, you basically have just one center knob to unlock and lock. So if you unlock, you can fully articulate, move it around, spin it around, all the way around if you want. Um, and when you're done, you set your camera, you lock it, and then it's good. Um, so that really simplifies the operation. Now, at the top of the head is where you mount your camera. Typically, there is another knob that allows you to loosen and lock it back in. What they've done is that they've gotten rid of that mechanism. Um, what they use is uh, they allow for the Arca type plates, which is the most commonly used. So I don't think most of you guys will have issues with it. Um, it's the one that comes with capture. So if you have capture ready, you're good to go. Uh, but they have basically created a quick release uh, and loading mechanism. So you slot it in on one angle, you pop it down, it locks into place. If you want further security, you can press that lock button. Um, and when you're done, when you wanna take your camera out, all you gotta do is uh, click that button and the camera comes right off. So there's no you know, annoying um, you know, twisting motion required to lock it in and wondering, okay, is it actually locked? Is it tight enough? Uh, it removes all that guesswork. The quick uh, locking and release mechanism is really genius as well. And so that is the ball head. So now let's talk about deployment in the field. Now, if you look at the Kickstarter page, this is probably the most repeated kind of selling point of the travel tripod. The fact that you can bring it out in the field and really have it 
out and open and ready to use uh, really, really quickly. Um, so let's talk about a few things. So first of all, let's talk about the legs. So I talked earlier about it being five sections. The way you actually uh, bring it out is that they're clips. You literally use one hand to unclip all of them. You bring it all out and then you lock each one. Now, I'm really not sure whether this is going to make a big difference because all of my tripods have been twist to open. So it's one motion to twist to open all of them. You release, uh, pull them out, and then you lock each one by, by twisting them. And then when you wanna bring them back in, you do the opposite and you bring it in and then you're done. Um, most of my tripods have been three to four sections. This being five, I don't know if that's actually better. That feels like it's more work, but I won't know until I actually test it. So I'm gonna reserve my judgment until then. I think the real game changer is probably in terms of the configuration of a tripod. So what I have here is my current travel tripod. It's by Siriu, it's a Chinese company. It's carbon fiber, super light and small. But you'll notice that most tripods actually work like this. I'm gonna flip it around. If you wanna deploy it, you gotta open like this. You gotta flip it down, flip it down, and then you're good. You have your center column right here. Now, what Peak Design has done, they've inverted it, so which is really brilliant actually, so that all you have to do when you wanna use your tripod is flick, 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 center column up, and then you're good to go. So there's no awkward like flipping around to try to do all that. You eliminate all that, and I think that's gonna make things a lot easier in the field. We already talked about the ball head earlier. I think the quick release is brilliant because that means you can mount your camera on really quickly and dismount it uh, and put it on your capture maybe before you move it, uh, move your tripod in a different area of the field or, or keep it on because it's super secure. Uh, I think all those things kind of contribute to the idea that the travel tripod is gonna be easy to deploy uh, when you're out shooting. So yes, we're finally at the last section of this video, but there's so much to cover. There's so many features built into the travel tripod. I'm gonna try to rattle them down and explain why it's helpful. So here we go. First part, my favorite has to be the built-in mobile phone mount. So all tripods are gonna have this hook down here uh, and it's meant to be for counterweight, uh, for additional stability. But basically if you unscrew that, inside is a mobile phone mount that you can use to clamp your phone onto the tripod so you can do things like time lapses, unselfies and things like that. Uh, so that's an incredible feature that I've never really seen built into the center column of the tripod. Something that you may not have seen in a lot of photos, but it is there in one of them is a omnidirectional bubble level. This is on the ball head. So if your camera doesn't have a, a level, that's something that's there to set things up. Um, and I think that's kind of a, a nice little small feature, but, but a little bit hidden. Um, anchor points. So the tripod actually has a few anchor points where you can use something like a leash. So you can use it as a, um, your, your tripod can turn into a sling. So that means you don't have to bring around a carry bag that it does come with. But if you have a leash, it uh, could be another way to carry the tripod. There is something called inverted mode. Now inverted mode is where you are able to put your camera uh, upside down uh, in between all the legs pointed down to the ground, and this is more for macro photography users, but I'm sure other people can find ways to use it as well. Not a feature I've seen with other tripods, but looks pretty sweet, something that you guys can use. Uh, if you have an L-plate, so an L-plate like this, they've thought of you guys as well. Uh, they say there's a way to basically use a hex key to remove something called a pin. That's for the quick release mechanism. You can remove it, and so your L-plate can work with the ball head, and so, Again, very thorough peak design. There's another feature called low to the ground mode. Um, so a lot of tripods have trouble with this because of that center column. So it looks like the center column can actually be removed. The ball head can be placed into uh, where that center column is. And so your camera can be almost at ground level. And that is a pretty sweet feature. The tripod is also guaranteed for life. So they've built the tripod in a way that all the individual components of it can be removed and replaced, so it's completely serviceable and uh, it's guaranteed for life by Peak Design. And uh, again, thank you Peak Design for doing that. Uh, there are add-ons that are available on as part of the Kickstarter, and so uh, if you have a specific ball head that you love, that you invested a ton of money in, and it's like incredible, yes, you can actually buy a universal tripod head adapter that allows you to use other ball heads. So there's that. 
And finally, you'll notice that the feet of the tripod are just standard rubber. Um, and if you want spiked feet, which is a common feature in a lot of tripods, you can buy those extra feet spikes that you can replace and you can use for additional stability so you can um, really plant yourself on the ground. Um, other things, I, I think I mentioned this earlier, is that it does come with a carry uh, bag um, and a plate as well. So even if you don't have capture and you don't have an existing plate, it comes with a plate. So you're all good to go there. So that about covers everything that you might have missed on the Kickstarter page. Whew, that was a lot to go through. There's so many features to talk about. I'm glad I was able to go through all that with you guys. Congratulations, you made it to the end. So now let's talk about two things that you're most uh, curious about, I think. It's gonna be dates and price. So let's talk about dates first. So the Kickstarter is live as of today. It's gonna be good for 60 days, okay? And then it closes off. Um, the delivery. This product is just like every single other Kickstarter, pretty much is going to be delivered at around holiday period in 2019. So anywhere from early December, I'd say, into the end of December of 2019. That's when you're gonna be getting your tripod. So if you wanna plan your trips around this, it's gonna be around then. So I'd say you can use it probably in early 2020. So the question is then, how deep do you have to dig into your wallet? And so let's talk about the MSRP price first. The aluminum version is $349.95. That's basically 350 US dollars. The carbon fiber version is $599.95. That's $600, quite expensive. Now, if you look at the Kickstarter page though, this is where things get interesting. The aluminum version is $289. Okay, so that's $61 in savings for the aluminum version. And for the carbon fiber version, it's $479. That's $121 in discounts by buying it through the Kickstarter. So, now you know. I hope you guys are excited as I am about this latest Kickstarter by Peak Design for the Travel Tripod. Uh, again, there's gonna be links if you wanna know where the product page actually is on the Kickstarter up here at the end of the video, definitely down in the description. I appreciate all the support you guys give me. So if you wanna continue seeing more videos from me about Peak Design, open the description, click the link, check out the product page, and I hope you guys support this project because it looks pretty amazing. Um, the page is gonna have a lot more information, um, FAQ content uh, delivered by Peak Design directly. Um, and if you like and subscribe to this channel, I'm gonna be producing a lot more content as I get it. Uh, initial feedback, once I get the product in hand, some thoughts about the product uh, that's gonna be coming actually really soon. So again, love you guys. Thank you for the support. And I'll see you guys probably really soon.